What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It is a wonderful day because I get to talk about some baseball. No, it is not MLB. We all know what it's about and it's KBO. It's the Korean Baseball League. Okay, now any baseball makes me ecstatic, makes me super excited. I've been studying Korean baseball for like a, a good bit now, preparing for it. As soon as I found out that this was going to start, I have been studying my ass off to get it locked in. All right, so I want to do a giveaway on this first video. I will be doing daily videos covering this, and I have a fire high five for you guys for this first uh, opening day. Um, just to start it off with, I want to say, I want to give away $50 to one of you. Comment down in the comment section anything to enter your name into the giveaway, uh, and you will win $50. One of you. Not every single person who comments. One of you. Drop a like as well. Thank you guys for joining me, man. I'm super excited to be back. It's been a while since I've been able to come and talk to you guys, and I'm excited to get into some baseball, man. I really, really am. Now, first and foremost, there are not many people in this world who know much about Korean baseball. So one, that makes it so I have to work a shit ton harder to get my uh, high five out and to study these slates because I know less about it naturally. Um, two, it gives us a bit of an upper hand over people who don't study much. Okay, so obviously everybody who watches this video is going to have this high five, but at the end of the day, to uh, give you guys a little extra advice, I started the Patreon account. I will put the link for the Patreon down in the description. A lot of people have been asking me over the years to start one of these and to be able to give away like, uh, you know, cheat sheets and stuff like that on there. I have decided to finally start doing that. Um, we've been doing it for the Rocket League. We've been doing it for CSGO, all that stuff. GreenlightDFS.com is staying the same. Everything's normal over there. Lines will still be given for this Korean Baseball League. Um, so head on over to greenlightdfs.com. But if you want any exposure to my personal projections, um, my uh, little cheat sheets and stuff that I throw out for these slates, definitely go hit that Patreon. The link is in the description. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. I'm not going to take a ton of time. This isn't going to be a 20-minute video. I've already got my guys planned out, and we're going to touch over them and go straight like that. First and foremost, let's start over with just getting familiar with these teams real quick. All right, We got the Doosan Bears, and you guys know I'm going to screw these names up, so just bear with me. okay? The Doosan or Doosan Bears were the best team in the league last year with an 88 and 55 record. Then comes the SK Wyverns with an 88-55. They tied, but they're head-to-head. -head. Doosan won, so they ended up at the top. Um, Kiwoom Heroes went 86-57. and 57. LG Twins went 79-64. and 64. The NC Dinos went 73-69. and 69. The KT Wiz went 71-71. and 71. I automatically want them to be my favorite team because my cat's name is Wiz. Kia Tigers, 62 and 80. Samsung Lions, 60 and 83. Hanwha Eagles, 58 and 86. And then the bottom of the league was the Lottie Giants at 48 and 93. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Now, the uh, official starters for this slate have been announced. For the Doosan Bears, you have Alcantara, who might sound familiar. He was a pitcher for the Miami Marlins. He's not very good, but he is a name that's familiar to people, so his ownership might be up just solely off that fact, but he might not be worth it, you know, just off his name alone, but we'll get to that. All right, starting for LG, Cha Wu Chan. Now, like I said, I'm going to ruin some of these names, but it is what it is. Cha Wu Chan will start for the L for LG, and then Hanwha has Saupold will be starting. SK has Kingdom. Make sure y'all are writing these things down because this is important. NC, Rasinski is starting for him. That's one of the pitchers that I'm really interested in today, and we'll talk about it. Samsung, Back Jung Huan. All right, now the interesting thing here is this dude was one of the top pitchers in the entire uh, KBO last year. Bake, back, Juan, Jung, Juan. Now, not many guys get million-dollar salaries in this league, but this dude's making over two mil a year. Okay, so he's pretty legit. Um, but do you need to pay for him? I don't think so. Okay, but we'll, we'll touch on it. All right? Now, and by the way, that is... Uh, Sorry, no, it wasn't, was it Bake? Uh, no, it wasn't Bake. Bake is a bad pitcher, okay? We'll talk about him in a second. Sorry, I'm getting confused already. Samsung, Back, 
Jung Huan is the Samsung starting pitcher. And then you got Yang Huan Jung, who is priced up at 10K. That is the guy I was talking about. Yang. H. Yang. At the very top there at the 10,000 salary. Okay? He is the best pitcher in this league. Um, the other best pitcher was uh, upgraded over to the Milwaukee Brewers. So now he is the main guy in this league. At 10K, he's not really worth that price, though. I mean, at the end of the day, guys don't really strike out a ton in this league. No reason to pay like all the way up to that 10K range. That's that's really, really high. All right. Then we got Lottie has Dan Straley officially starting. Now, you guys know about Dan Straley. He was giving up a ton in the majors. This dude's been rocked multiple times. He was a pitcher that I picked on every single time he would play. He is not very good. And so far in this league, nothing has changed. And we will talk about that as well. But keep in mind, a lot of people are going to be playing these guys that they've heard of, like Straley and Despagne, who is pitching for KT. All right, Lottie is starting Straley. KT is starting Despagne. Now, Despagne was also a pitcher for Miami for a little while. Also another not very good pitcher. I mean, any of these guys who were in the MLB and are now pitching here are just not very good. Off name alone, their ownership will be high, but they are not worth it. This is actually one of the games I'm looking to stack. I'm cool with stacking either side of that game. Um, Key Wombs is starting Brigham, who is a very good pitcher, one of the top pitchers in this league. And then the top pitcher in the KBO, like I mentioned, money-wise at least, the dude's getting over two mil a year at that 10K price is Yang. All right, now let's get into my picks. All right, first off, first pitcher I want is Kingham. All right, that's another name that is familiar, and that's okay. Okay, he did pitch in the major leagues. This dude has some really solid strikeout upside. Now, what we know is that this. KBO is going to be scored like MLB. DraftKings is going to score it over here like MLB. So Ks are very, very important. You want guys who are going to get strikeouts, and it's just a very good spot for them. In the preseason, Kingham threw four innings, allowing only three hits, zero earned runs, struck out four. Okay, so he had a very solid preseason. If he can, throughout the year, be able to strike out a batter per inning pitched, He's going to be a very, very solid option. And at 9K, I really like him here against the bottom in the league, Hanwha Eagles. Okay, they were bottom in the league last year. Their offense is not much better. They went 58-86 and 86 last year. They're definitely a, a, an offense that you can target against with pitchers. And I think Kingdom's going to strike out a ton of them in this one. All right, next guy that I really, really like here is going to be Rasinski. All right, Drew Rasinski for the Dinos. All right, he's starting for the NC Dinos. This dude is an absolute beast, okay? In the preseason, he pitched five innings, allowing only three hits and six strikeouts. Now he's going against Samsung, who went 60 and 83 last year. Bottom in the league offense. This might be one of the worst offense. This is might be the worst offense in this entire KBO. I was looking into their batters. They do not have anybody, many guys who are even decent on this offense. Um, so they're going to get absolutely ran through. So Kingham and Rasinski, I think, have the potential to be both of the highest scoring pitchers on this entire slate. Because yes, you have Yang at the uh, you have Yang at the top pitcher spot at 10K. Okay, but it's just one of those situations where I mean, the dude gave up an earned run, two hits. He gave up a walk. He's got some solid strikeout upside. He struck out a batter per inning pitch in the in the preseason. But at the end of the day, it's not worth that 10K when you can get the same strikeout upside with guys at the low nines. So Kingham and Rasinski, I really, really like both of those guys. All right, now let's get to the bats. Now, first thing that came to me is I really want some SK Wyverns. I really want to pick on this self-pulled guy of Hanwha. Um, the dude gave up two earned runs, four hits, and three walks. He has a major walk issue. Um, he was giving up a ton of hard hits. And he is a guy that I think could definitely get smashed here in this one against the second place place SK Wyverns of last season. They went 88 and 55 last year. Expect them to start this year off with a, in, with a banger against Southpold, who struggled in the preseason. I expect him to struggle struggle here as well. And with that being said, the guy that I'm interested in getting here, all of these guys are going to be in the outfield. I'm going to start off with Dan. Han. They have him on DK. It's very confusing. And one of the things you're really going to have to make sure of is that you're picking the right guys. Okay, so you really want to make sure you pay attention to what team these guys are on. But Han at 4 2 is 
really interesting to me because he is a left-handed batter. We all know you want those lefty versus righties. Nothing's going to change here in the KBO. Okay, I'm not leaning as heavily on it, but it is important. Okay, these lefty-righty splits are the real deal. And Han is a left-handed batter who had a 375 on on-base percentage last season, which is top in the league. Top on his team. Very, very solid. And at only 4-2, you're getting a solid, solid lefty who was very solid last season and should have another solid season going against a pitcher who has already proven that he's going to give it up. All right? Another guy I, I want, like I said, I want to stack this team, and he is another guy in the outfielder. Outfield. And that is Jung Wook Ko. Okay, let me find him. There we go. 4-5, lefty. Another lefty. Both of these guys are lefties and top on their team at batting average and OBP. Okay? On base percentage. All right? Batting average. 323 batting average for Co. Best on the team. Or second best on the team, I believe. Um, amazing option here. Only 4-5, like I said. Gets me exposure to my favorite stack. SK is my favorite stack on this slate. The reason I did both of these two outfielders, because if you look at the other options, Romac for SK, he's 5-8. Crazy expensive. You look at another guy I love, Jung Choi. He's another guy with a ton of power. Both of those guys have a ton of power, but in this league, you don't get near as many home runs, so you don't have to worry as much about that, okay? You're not going to get a ton of home runs in this league, all right? And these guys are just priced way too high up, okay? Especially if you want solid pitching, because a lot of these guys are going to get destroyed on opening day, okay? Um, last but not least, another outfielder, and it's on in that game I talked about, the Lottie Giants versus KT Wiz. This is a game I really want exposure to on either side. I ended up landing on a Lottie player because their prices are a bit better. Any offense facing Lottie is going to be priced high because Lottie was the bottom team in the league last year. But on a positive note, Lottie has had an amazing preseason. Sorry. Lottie has had an amazing preseason. They have really done well. I believe they only lost one game the entire time. They've been playing really, really well. So... Lottie could have a bounce back season in this one. And I really like them against Despagna here. Who gave up four earned runs in three innings pitched and six hits and two walks. Like the dude got crushed and I expect him to get crushed again here. Even though Lottie is the bottom team in the league. The guy that I really, really want here is Byung Hyun Min. Uh, I know I am screwing up his name. I know I am. Let me even see if I can find this dude's name. There we go. 4-1. Right-handed bat. B Min. He is 4-1. And he had a 379 on base percentage last season. That is amazing. That's higher than any of the guys I have talked about so far. And he is the cheapest batter so far. Okay, a lot of people are going to sleep on some Lottie guys. Don't. This game on both sides is stackable. KT guys are a lot more expensive, though. You're not getting much of a deal. Okay. You are not going to get much of a deal for these KT bats. So I prefer the Lottie side of it. Both of these pitchers suck. Straley sucks. Despagna sucks. Even though their names we're familiar with, they both continued to suck throughout the preseason, and they are going to suck. They are guys that you still want to stack against. And just because we know their name does not necessarily mean they are going to be amazing plays. Thank you guys for joining me as always, man, and I will see you tomorrow. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad for this first slate. Get Hit up that Patreon. Link in the description. Peace out.